Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotus Dins Gemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is February 25, Thursday of the first week of Lent. Samahan niyo po ko sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground together with her handmaids from morning until evening and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord my God. And now come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy, so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 138 Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Gospel Antiphone A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the Law and the Prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer is a most beautiful thing in this world because prayer is the situation that puts up ourselves, that puts ourselves bare before the Lord, where we really encounter God, our power source. Prayer is communicating with God and putting ourselves before Him, laying bare the contents of our hearts. Prayer is yeah, putting ourselves in God's presence. That is immediately when happening to us, that it's immediately happening to us whenever we pray. We put ourselves in God's presence. And that is the start of the wonderful things you know, that God has in store for us. And so 
Prayer is an invitation from the Lord, but this is also our response. Prayer could be personal, you're alone, as what was told in the Gospel when if you have something to say to the Father, go to your room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, you're alone. Or it could be a communal prayer where two or three are gathered, and then yeah, you pray together for a common cause. The Eucharist is a communal prayer and worship. So these are the two forms of prayer in that sense. You're alone or you are with the community, a communal prayer. Prayer could also be categorized as those according to the purpose to which it was intended. We have the four classical types of prayer in this. First, we have adoration. Adoration is a form of prayer that we put ourselves in God's presence with not so much words. It is simply like looking at God and God looking at you, the, heart, the two hearts connecting to one another. You're adoring, beholding the beauty of God. This is what we do when we adore Him in the Blessed Sacrament. Whether alone or with the other, it is like a personal encounter with God in the Blessed Sacrament, eyes to eyes, heart to heart with our God. A prayer could also be one of confession. We ask the Lord God to forgive us our sins. And this is always the call, especially in this Lent season, to, rec to, to repent and to reconcile with God. And so here we ask the forgiveness of the Lord. And so when we go to confession, that is a kind of prayer also when we ask for the forgiveness of our sins. T, thanksgiving, no? because it's ACTS, Acts, ACTS. T, thanksgiving. Well, this is um, really recognizing the benefits that we have received from the Lord, recognizing the fact that we were graced by God, and we simply thank the Lord. We simply thank the Lord for what God has been doing to us. And this is also a miracle no? for, for us because it, um, it connects us to the power source, and uh, that kind of recognizing God's goodness in us. It is a manifestation really of our faith that uh, uh, we, we acknowledge God as the source of the gift that we have received. And so it is a manifestation of faith, thanksgiving. You know? remember, remember the ten lepers you know, were healed by Jesus and then only one returned to him, thanking Jesus for that. And then Jesus says, your faith has saved you. Your faith has saved you. That was the response of Jesus. Because that thanksgiving is recognizing in faith that everything that I receive is from you. I recognize your, your, your goodness. No, that's what we are saying when we pray the prayer of thanksgiving to God. And then the last is supplication or requests. We pray to the Lord for the intentions of the heart. What we need. What we need and what other people need. No? And that's what we call the prayer of intercession. We pray also not only for ourselves, but for the other. A manifestation also of loving the neighbor when we feel, when we pray for, we think is their need. Um, the prayer of intercession, the prayer of uh, the faithful in the Mass is a prayer of intercession. The content in there is not only for ourselves, ourselves is in silence at the end, but basically it's prayer for, for the church, prayer for the community, for the world, prayer for those who are sick, for all those who are in need, and uh, for, for our faithful departed. So these are all prayer for the other, in uh, prayer of intercession. But basically, that is the prayer of um, supplication. So ACTS, adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. As I've said, the classical four forms of prayer. We could be praying one or two or three or all of them in one sitting uh, with our God. No? And uh, the gospel is telling us, us very beautifully about that. Um, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. Beautiful. The one who seeks, finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be open to that person. So whenever we pray to the Lord, tandaan natin, whenever we pray to the Lord, all prayers are answered by the Lord. All prayers, tandaan natin yan. If, there, if God has a weakness, it is our prayers because He always listens to our prayers. And second, the answer of God to our prayers is always what is best for us. So not necessarily the one we are asking because in God's wisdom, He knows what we need most what we need best and that is the one that he will be given to us 
even if that is the one that we're asking for, even even in situations that we think that God is not answering our prayers, that is the answer of God to that. No, because that is the best for us. No, maybe what we're asking is not good for us and God will not give it at all. Because it is not good for us and that not giving us is the best that can happen to us. That not that, that God He answered. He answered our our request or our prayer, and his answer is no, for example, to a particular request, because that no is the best for us. And so, hindi naman parang jukebox yung ating uh, Panginoon or vendo machine that what you put is what will come out. Yeah, of course, something will come out, but not necessarily not necessarily the, the one that we're asking for. Again, the answer of God is what is best for us. In the first reading, we are shown here how Queen Esther has prayed for his people, even putting her life at risk. Yeah, um, There is someone who is plotting to kill the Israelites, and um, she has known of this, and uh, she was asking the Lord God to assist her in telling the king to reverse that plan. And so she was really coming to the Lord together with her handmaids, physically prostrating. That means, dadapa sa harap ng Panginoon, completely submitting her cause to the Lord. Lord, I am alone. Wala akong ibang tatakbuhan kundi ikaw. That is the content of the prayer. And I guess these are the kind of prayers that really God answers. When we really um, proposes to God that, and that is in reality, that God, Lord, wala po akong ibang tatakbuhan kundi ikaw. That is, I guess, the prayer that we mostly felt and God really feels that. And that is where God will come to the rescue. No? And so, how do we pray? Again, and also the contents of our prayer and what is our disposition to prayer? No? Jesus says in some instances that to pray is not to babble with words, not so many, many words as if God does not know what we're asking. God knows what we are going to ask even before we are asking it. And so, prayer is simply trusting God, submitting ourselves before the Lord. And God wants also that we, that we verbalize that is our prayers. He knows the contents of our hearts. And even in, in, in silence, He knows what is inside. Pero God wants that He hears with the words coming out of our mouth that we pray. So that when when it is answered, then we can we can really see the goodness of God and charge to God everything that happened is because of His goodness to us. Our prayers are effective; it touches God's heart. But in the end, it is God's mercy, you know, that we are asking for. Our prayers were answered not because we prayed, but because of God's goodness, but because of God's mercy to all of us. And so. Praying could be as simple as thinking of God. Whenever we start thinking of God, we are already putting ourselves in God's presence. And that is already the start of prayer, the simplest form of prayer. And that is thinking God, thinking of God. Or it could be with, with our devotions, our rosaries, our novenas, and the Eucharist, the highest form of prayer, the highest form of prayer, wherein we receive Jesus in His Word and in His body and blood. What could be closer to God than that? Eating Him and being we being part of God and God being part of us in our body when we eat and drink Him. And so, continue praying. That's why we can, when Jesus says, um, pray without ceasing. It's possible. It's possible. Kasi the mere fact that we think God and we can do God. We can do, think of God every moment of our lives. Every moment. While, while doing works. In the, in, in the office or doing the household course, no? we can think of God. And that is immediately putting ourselves in God's presence. And it feels differently. It feels differently. Alam natin yan from experience. Because the presence of God can really work wonders in us. Soothing, calming, peaceful effect on us whenever we put God in our presence. And that is the basic meaning of prayer. Again, continue communicating with the power source. Diba? Ang lakas natin kapag nakakonect tayo doon sa tunay na lakas. We are really very, very strong when we are connected with the source of strength, with the source of power and might. Nagiging malakas din tayo. And so, let prayer be an important, integral part of our 24-hour life. No, As important as eating, drinking, breathing, as important as that is 
connecting ourselves to the power souls in prayer. Amen. Nangako si Jesus, humingi tayo at tayo kanyang bibigyan. Lumapit tayo sa ating amang nasa langit nang may pag-asa at tiwalang katulad ng panalangin ng Panginoon. Butihing Ama, tumugon ka sa amin. Sa buong simbahan sa daigdig, naway lumaganap ang mataintim na pananalangin. Manalangin tayo. Butihing Ama, tumugon ka sa amin. Ang mga taong nalululong sa masasamang bisyo at nakasadlak sa kasalanan, naway humingi ng kapatawaran. Manalangin tayo. Butihing Ama, tumugon ka sa amin. Tayo naway manatili sa pananalangin kahit tayo ay pinanghihinaan ng loob dahil sa mga kabiguan sa buhay. Manalangin tayo. Butihing Ama, tumugon ka sa amin. Ang mga may sakit naway makita ang puhulugan ng kanilang pagtitiis sa kanilang karamdaman. Manalangin tayo. Butihing Ama, tumugon ka sa amin. Ang mga yumaong tapat sa Panginoon naway mapatawad at muling mabuhay kasama ni Kristo sa walang hanggan. Manalangin tayo, butihing Ama, tumugon ka sa amin. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang laman ng ating mga damdamin at kahilingan sa Kanya. Ama namin nasa langit, pinasasalamatan ka namin sa pagdinig mo sa aming mga kahilingan. Tulungan mo kami na lagi magtiwala sa mga paraan ng iyong pagmamahal at tanggapin ang iyong kalooban sa aming buhay. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagninilay sa araw na ito. In those moments that we don't feel like praying, all the more that we should really pray to God. Magandang araw at magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Ciao!